Welcome to the good life. Oh. Welcome to the good life. The wait is over. Welcome to the good life. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Relationship Tuesday. I am so excited about this show. We kind of reeled into this subject a little bit on yesterday about branding, so I thought it was a perfect um, segue into today with the topic. We're going to talk about personal branding and how you brand yourself. How do you brand yourself? Whether intentionally or unintentionally, how do you brand yourself? Branding is important because it creates an expectation. The self-image that you project teaches people how to treat you. Our brand is something we have control over, but unfortunately, very few people know how to use it to their advantage. You know, there are a lot of regular people who are becoming more and more aware of the importance of branding themselves. To see the importance of having your own personal brand, you really don't have to look very far. Look at social media. It's a perfect example. People are famous for their ability to simply drive a product. And they're getting paid for it. Mm-hmm. Put this um, this uh, boutique on your page and, and, you know, send this many tweets out. Send this many Instagrams out. Send this many Facebook posts out. And people are getting paid for it. So people are becoming famous simply for their ability to drive a product. So what is your brand? What are you putting forth? Everyone has some. Even if their influence isn't worth millions, we all project a certain image to the world. And they might get associated with certain products because of where you hang out. If you're always at Gentilly Italian Pie, you're going to get associated with Gentilly Italian Pie, hanging out heaven on Martini Monday. That's What's always today? good. Or Wine Wednesday or whatever the, the yeah. day of the week is. And you're going to get associated with Uche at Gentilly Italian Pie, which isn't necessarily a bad thing to be associated with. You know, if you have exotic bulldogs, you may be exo- um, attached to bull blood. With Henry and the dogs, you know, but it, it's it's what are you presenting? What are you put, taking pictures of? You know, how do you present yourself? You know, for example, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to put it out there because, you know, we do have this stereotype. For example, how many of us are labeled angry black women because we're never <laughs> caught smiling? I had to bring it up because, you know, it's, it's Relationship Tuesday. We real. Angry black women because we're never caught smiling. We only seem to frown. You know, you have that, what they what they call it, uh, Susan calls it the, the relaxed angry face or, you know, the where, where you just... You know, you have a normal face, but you don't look happy hmm. per se. You know, they uh, uh, they assume it's, it's you're loud. It, it it could be you're assumed to be loud. Snap your fingers, roll your neck. So you know, you maybe get labeled as a dumb blonde. I am blonde, but I'm not the dumb blonde. I call them Nancy be- Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> because most of the visible blondes were bubbly, giggly, less intelligent, and you know that what that type of brand brings. You know, many fight against these stereotypes and are able to successfully rebrand themselves. Others seem to feed them no matter how much they struggle against them because you're struggling against it. Simply because people are looking for any evidence that you meet their expectations and no evidence that you are different. Hence, this is why branding is so important. It sets expectations. And I put this on my social media. Have you all ever heard uh, Game Recognizes Game? Everybody's heard that. Yeah, yeah, the same. Yeah. Well, guess what? Brand recognizes brand. So if you want a certain type of man, if you want a certain type of woman, then brand yourself as such. But the difference is be authentic with it. You can recreate yourself. Everybody has the ability to recreate yourself. Think about it. And I know a lot of women can attest to this. When you break up with a guy, you you rebrand yourself. A lot of us cut our hair, get, you know, do a different color, whatever, and make yourself feel better about yourself. You're basically rebranding yourself. Right. So basically do that to get what you want and stop focusing on what you don't want. And that's the difference. So. My question, you need to start the way you need to start the way you mean to continue. And this is true even before the first hello. You need to establish your brand, the type of person you are and what you're looking for. And that's so important. And that's the good life. Henry, any brand before before any company starts a brand, they strategize and they sit down. They think about, okay. What do we want to put out there? How do we want to be portrayed? How do we want to be perceived? And so when you're branding yourself, you have to think about that. You have to really strategically put it together because everybody's going to be looking at you and you cannot be upset with how people perceive you because it's it's based on what you're putting out there. It's your brand. You You could put yourself out there in a positive light or a negative light. It's totally up to you. And with social media... It's, uh, it's funny because 
you know, you may have, uh, you know, guys that on social media flaunt money, flaunt money, but then they may say, well, I don't understand why women only want me for my money. Exactly. Well, that's what you're putting out right, there. Right, exactly. Or if a woman is taking uh, selfies every morning and, you know, turning to the side and showing. Uh, what kills me is the women, <laughs> post- and, and me, women, because it's women and men, you know, that take lots of pictures half-dressed. Yeah. And wonder why someone only wants them for one thing. Well, since half of your pictures are of you half dressed, what else could I want from you? Because that's what you're portraying. You, you telling me to to talk to you based on it on that. So, I yeah, mean, but, but I'm looking for a husband. But your husband doesn't want your body displayed on Front Street to everyone else. Uh, uh, what uh, makes him special? Absolutely not. And or then, what makes her special when you know the game is out there with you know his his attachments <laughs> fully visible to the world. I, I shouldn't have seen that, but I'm laughing because I, I know, I did, right? Because you know what I'm talking and about. And I feel bad. Whatever. I don't want to talk about that. Right. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, even, even, um, you know, uh, employers, you know, they, they look at your Facebook and your Instagram, your Twitter, you know, what are you putting out there? At least be smart enough to block them, y'all. <laughs> At least be yeah, you know, if, if, if you, if you're a female or a guy and you got a thousand party pictures up, well, don't be surprised when people think that that's what you're, you're about. You, yeah, right. you're a party person. Right. Or, or like the the angry black females. Like if if somebody's on your Facebook and you got all these 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 down quotes and the bitter sayings and all, nobody wants to hear all that foolishness all day, man. Or that's exactly what you're gonna attract. If that's what you're putting out there, then that's what yeah, you're gonna like, get back man, because that's what you're branding yourself as. Go ahead, Ty. Um, I definitely think that uh, as a public relations practitioner, I think, you know, for the purposes of this conversation, I think there's a distinction that needs to be made um, with brand, branding, and your personal brand. Mm -hmm. Um, For many, many years, brand was something that was regulated specifically to identify with companies and um, corporations. Mm -hmm. Um, But the word, of course, is used more loosely within the last couple of years, referencing individuals' personal brand. Um, But there's a huge distinction. I think that needs to be made because one, when you create a brand or a, a brand identity for a corporation, it is a very strategic process. It is very intentional. And quite often, um, people have a tendency to jump from the stage of understanding their business um, and doing the proper research to wanting to immediately come up with their brand image and uh, their brand identity and so begin to create brand images. Um, I think that, you know, for the purposes of this conversation, um, it is a relevant topic that needs to be discussed because in my line of work, I see a huge inconsistency with people's um, who they project themselves to be professionally versus who they are personally, especially within social channels. Um, I think social media is a very powerful and valuable tool for you to market yourself. Um, and it's a, a very powerful and useful and, um, uh, and cost-effective, too, especially for corporations to, to brand themselves. But I think um, what has happened is we've become a, a society that is self-consumed um, and self-obsessed and have a tendency to want to push so much of themselves out there, which which communicates when you talk about what you, what is your brand message communicating? It's communicating. I just simply need attention and attention is missing somewhere in my life. And we talk about that all the time when people call in with the challenges that they're having in their relationships, Absolutely. they're creating an image and a view of themselves um, that is very inconsistent with their, the real life. Um, I think the people that utilize social media properly are individuals who as much of, 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 of the stories that they share um, through their social channels and, and telling their story is consistent with their personal life. I think you can't get it wrong as long as you're authentic. Well, let's, let's get authentic then. In the, um, I'm going to get authentic for uh, big OT out there. All right. Since we're talking about branding, and since everybody wants to tap around and be vague about it, <laughs> let's brand a side chick. Okay, go ahead. Side chick, no, she's a side She's a branded side chick. That's what she does, or side do. Yeah, yeah. That is what your response, that's who you are, that's what you do, so on and so forth. There are many of them out there. People don't feel that they're necessary, but you know what happens when Drew Brees goes down? <laughs> you know? You got to have a backup that comes in there and takes care of business. I'm, hey, I mean, know. if y'all can see my face right now. Go ahead. It's, it's such I'm a lovely you complete face, your thought. But. 
Um, you can't ignore it. Is you there. can't ignore it. it no, I'm real. not ignoring yeah. it. But the point is, it's to recognize it. And but the but thing I'm is, sorry to get off. Just like we said, game recognizes game. Brand recognizes, recognizes brand. brand. And so, so at the if same you're a time, side chick. You are a side chick. That's what you branded yourself that's as. That's what you branded you're not, yourself as. You're not about as. to be nobody's wife. You know what, you know what I'm saying? But then you're wondering why, why no one exactly. wants to date you and move you forward or introduce you to the family or introduce you to the friends or take you out in public yeah. because you have branded yourself, yourself as, as a side, side chick. chick. Whether intentionally or unintentionally, and un- I would hope it was unintentionally, but if you brand yourself as a side chick, no one's gonna, that's only, that's the only thing that's that all you've been. That's, that's, all that's the experience be. that you have. Right. So if you've been the side chick, do you really have, um, experience with, um, hanging out with the family, hanging out with the children? Can they see you dinner? as the mother of their children? You don't have the experience. Mm-hmm. You well, if you've don't. only been a side chick, if I've only like known this chick to be with like every uh, a couple guys every three months, a different guy. I mean, y- y- as a woman and She's as an a guy, I'm go- just like in, I'm in gonna, football, I'm going to make some, that assumption. They got some guys in football. You know what? They don't have to prepare. They don't have to watch tape all day. They don't even have to go to the games. They the backup quarterback, and they just stay if something happens. You know, yeah. and they're happy with that. They don't want to play. They don't want to play. They want. They like the backup role because they don't have all the things that the the starter has to do. And what we're trying to bring to your attention well, I, is that it's, I, it's you labeling yourself as this, so that people are picking up on it. It's it's you labeling yourself. And if you want something different, then do something different. Go ahead, hmm. Ty. I don't know if I, I if, if I fully agree with the. the of course fo- not. <laughs> if ahead. I fully agree with the football analogy, and and I'm not the one to speak. I'm not a football guru. I know I know the least possible of everyone uh, on the on on the show this morning. But um, I, you know, I've always thought that even when you play the position of a backup in any sport, you know, you definitely need to know the playbook. You need to know the plays because you never you never know when the starter is going to have to be benched due to injury, uh, whatever the circumstance may be, and you have to come in with the same, if not you know, more knowledge and experience to be able to, to move the game. Oh, yeah. The, now, now, as it relates... I definitely got more experience now. Yeah. Now, <laughs> as, it, as it relates to since we're discussing oh, side God. pieces, um, you know, I, you know, to be honest, well, as, unfortunately, as, I think ahead. every woman at some point or another has either intentionally or unintentionally have been a side chick if we're gonna it's well safe. you know what i tell my chick and i say unintentionally because if you're a woman and you're a woman of substance you may begin to date a man and un- unknowingly that is the position that you are in but that's my and point. i think through that's building exactly point. i think through getting to know that person and building a relationship there are certain um behaviors that are communicated non-verbally <laughs> that lets you know that you are the side piece and once you and exactly as a woman point. realize well you know what you know i'm only able to talk to him during business hours <laughs> so, so i can't wait. talk to him after so ty, seven o'clock so ty, so ty, or, wait, 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 um, you're speaking to my point so you are branding yourself so? as the side chick because you you are cool and accepting of only taking calls on the weekend. You are cool with only taking calls between five and seven when he's leaving work and well, on I, his way home. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't totally. But you are. You're branding no, yourself no, 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 as such no, no, as no, only let, accepting it. Let me let me clarify. When you begin to when you're uh, courting someone and you're dating, and you're you don't court your side chick. Let, let me finish. <laughs> Um, what, what happens is you, as you build a relationship with someone, you start to uh, notice patterns. And in the noticing of the patterns, you See, are look, formulating a conclusion that this is possibly who you could be at this point in the relationship. Have you and ever had a side chick? Um, no. Have you it's ever been to, a side chick? Well, yeah, probably so, more than I've known. I, I, yes, no, I no. have. A side chick knows she's a side chick. Man. No, I, I, I. Well, then you haven't been. Once I've, once I've come to the realization that I'm the side chick, it just doesn't but, quite, but quite work out for me. that's different, though, Ty. I, I, I get. Uh, I, we're talking about side chicks that know that they're side chicks. No, I've never and, been a yeah, side that's chick. that's what I'm saying. Intentionally, willingly, well, and. That's and, what and I wanted to clarify. Comfortable that in you, such a role. You've never been that. No. In a role where you take that role. No. But like I say, I tell my I'm like, you need to be. The main chick with side chick mentality. <laughs> and then you're good. Let me go to the lines. We have Coleman on line two. Coleman, we are here on Relationship Tuesday. I have Henry, Ty, and Uche, and we're discussing labeling yourselves. Go ahead. Hey, how y'all doing? Thanks good. for taking how my call. Good, how are you? Uh, the first thing I'm going to say, the, the young lady of reference, she admitted being the side chick for 11 years. And... She also is married. 
So it, it lends itself that her husband also has a side chick. And the, the senator, his wife may have a side guy. For 11 years, let's get real. Everybody was enjoying the comfort zone of that relationship. Game recognizes game. Uh, all right, game. so let's say check your chain. Um, Sometimes in relationships we know um, everything is not everything. So you take the part here and the part there. Now, you know, America has one standard, and if you go to other countries, they have other standards where it's quite common that those relationships exist. Now, I'm going to lay the foundation. I've been in transportation over 60 years. So we know. We the fly on the wall. Uh, <laughs> we participate in the transportation of the side people. And uh, yeah, as old folks say, you start a grown folks business. And I said earlier, there are rules for engagement. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you can't get into a situation and then when it go bad, you want to go tell it. No, you have to take the slap and go. You know, simply yes, that. Because too many people are affected by loose lips sink ships. That's yeah. old folks talk, but it has a lot of bearings to it. And we want to throw the rules out, but when you throw the rules out, you damage a lot of families. And I'm just, let's say, for instance, there's children involved. Mm. Children are cruel to other children. So now you have some issues at school that can affect what go on in the house. So now everybody in counseling. So, yeah. you know, I just want to throw that part out yeah. there because the uh, old folks used to say uh, a half a man is better than no man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some folks have other statements. But, you know, there are reasons why we do what we do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, let, let's not be so judgmental on why a person have to do what they have to do. Because the latest fr uh, uh, car in this phrase, a lady have to do what a lady have to do. And then the man come back and say, a man got to do what a man got to do. Be because we know everybody don't take care of each other in a manner they want to get taken care of. So that's my little... Well, thank you so much, Coleman. You sent us the break on that. Thank you so much, Coleman. You sent us the break on that. And if you have your thoughts on branding yourself, give us a call at 504-260-9265. 504-260-9265. We'll be right back. Hello, this is Reverend Samson Skip Alexander. Join me each Tuesday at 1 p.m. for Eyewitness to History. We'll discuss how things used to be in the good old days. Join us each Tuesday at 1 p.m. for Eyewitness to History, only on WBOK, 1230 a.m. Real talk for real time. You're on the move and so is your bank. Liberty Bank now offers you the power to manage your money from the palm of your hand with mobile banking with Liberty Bank. Whether you need to check balances, transfer money, or view transactions, mobile banking at Liberty Bank allows convenient and secure access to your money. Enroll today at www.LibertyBank.net and download our mobile app. You can mobile bank at Liberty Bank to keep the power in your hands. Liberty Bank, there's freedom here. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Data News Weekly, the future of youth in the city of New Orleans without an excuse. Understanding the expression of Black Lives Matter, yet we are failing to climb the ladder. The Asms of Love, the Missing Link, it is time we commit to effectively think, uplifting our women, families as well safer communities in order to excel managing anger and developing our minds data news weekly preventing decline knowing who we are with focus and aim determined daily to gain and maintain restoring our decency restoring our faith thoroughly conscious removing disgrace data news weekly beyond appearance impacting minds years of experience Intelligent are those willing to advance. Today is the future, honoring the chance. So let us prioritize what is urgently needed. Data News Weekly, regression defeated. Be sure to pick up your copy of Data News Weekly today. 
Are you looking for a better way to get fit? Bored with the same old routines? Looking for results or a way to instill discipline in the kids? Tiger Rock Martial Arts is the answer with Taekwondo, kickboxing, and self-defense classes. Tiger Rock diversifies your training in ways that allows individuals of all ages and fitness levels to feel like a champion. Join Tiger Rock today, TigerRockNola.com or 504-455-9694. That's 504-455-9694 with a three-class starter pack starting for only $38, which includes your training uniform. Learn, grow, and succeed with Tiger Rock's three convenient locations, Old Metairie, West Bank, and Clearview. There's no better time to start gaining strength, skills, and protection for life than now. 504-455-9694. 504-455-9694. See you on the mat. LNR Security provides the good life. They make their mark in the security arena by providing excellent security services for more than 35 years and are licensed in more than 13 states. LNR Security's team comes with a wealth of experience from the military, law enforcement, and law enforcement training. Their personnel is comprised of more than 200 employees trained in video monitoring, special event services, convention services, armed and unarmed security guards, ticket takers, executive security, personal bodyguards, hall monitors, and critical infrastructure personnel that are TSA trained. LNR security services are provided on a 24-hour basis and have expanded to the newest technology, including video monitoring. Find them on the web at www.lrsecurity.com or call them today at 504-943-3191. Again, that number is 504-943-3191. Live the good life with LNR security today. I need help. My hair is a mess and my man texts me telling me to be ready for eight. He has a surprise. What am I going to do? My stylist takes forever. I got you. Call Ringlet Salon. I just left there. Where? Ringlet Salon. They took me within minutes and had me in and out in no time. Very professional and I scheduled online at ringlets.com. For real? Girl, for real. Does Ringlet Salon hook up your roots? Looks like I got a perm and you know I'm anti-chemicals. Ringlet Salon has my hair soft and bouncy. I'm getting the Brazilian blowout express next week it eliminates frizz for six weeks six weeks okay i'm all about ringlet salon where are they located ringlets has two locations one at 4712 paris avenue and one in the hilton hotel on the river that location validates parking for four hours and is open on sunday perfect for a working woman like me that's all i needed to know i'm gonna be fresh for my man you will if you schedule your appointment at ringlets.com that's r-i-n-g-l-e-t-t-s dot Bye. Go and make my appointment with Ringlet Salon now. You are now listening to the station that's keeping it real. WBOK 1230 AM, where it's real talk for real times. Welcome to the good life. Oh. Welcome to the good life. The wait is over. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Relationship Tuesday, and we are talking about branding and personal branding. And if you know someone who is a musician, a DJ, who would like to brand themselves as The Good Life, tell them to give me a call at 504-400-7127. That's 504 I know. 400-7127. Don't play. Call him. I'm serious. DJ Ram We are looking for a, DJ, a, a new theme song at uh, The Good Life. And we are looking to branch it out. We are going to uh, ride out with a new theme song at the beginning of the year. So through the month of December, we are looking for a musician, a DJ, who would like to brand themselves with The Good Life. You will obviously hear your music every morning. You will be spotlight on The Good Life, and that will be The Good Life. So if you know a musician, a DJ who's interested in some theme music, takes about 90 seconds, 20 seconds, 120 seconds, you know, obviously it has to be The Good Life. You know, give me a call, 504-400-7127. Or email me at Eileen at TGL Radio Show. That's Eileen at TGL Radio Show.com. And that's 
the good life. And speaking of branding, we were talking about this during the break. The break always has fun conversations. But the truth is a lot of people, and I'm going to give you both sides of the story. A lot of women brand themselves, you know, because we always say, I, you hear these conversations all, all the time. You know, I'm an independent woman. You know, they're too. You're they supposed don't, to be. You're missing my point. You know, men uh, don't approach me because they are, you know, scared or whatever. They don't you know, approach you because you, you got a nasty attitude. That's why men don't well, approach that's, you. That's exactly my point. You branded yourself Bust down, made a as, song about you. In, as independent, <laughs> as strong, but you've ended, you have branded yourself as no need for a man. Hmm. And then you're wondering why you're not approached. So it's poor branding at best. But then you have the men on the other side, like Henry was talking about earlier. Like, why do I meet all these gold diggers? Well, what do you put out there? You put out, I got Gucci from head to toe, but you go wear Gucci from head to toe and be a humble about it. Mm-hmm. But there's Gucci from head to toe that act like, you know, they chest out, beating their chest everywhere they walk, like I got this, that, and the other. That's not cute. And you're going to get a woman who's not cute with her attitude because that's what she's looking for. So You're going to get a Gucci mama. <laughs> you're going to get a Gucci mama. <laughs> exactly. So how do you bring yourself? How do you demand respect and demand a certain treatment without being overbearing, seen as angry, or seen as you know, the man looking for the gold digger. Gotta, How do you, you range you yourself? Ha- you got to have, have a level of tolerance. And once you have that level of tolerance, you have those things that you say, look, this I won't put up with this. And you're, you're really branding yourself as that person to be accepting to the people that will be branded. Like, for instance, like we were talking about, you know, I made reference to the side chick. Now, the main chick, you know, the holidays come around. The main chick knows what to do. The main chick is on the phone like, uh, where are we getting the turkey from? And when are we going to do this? And where are we getting, uh, when are we going to get a Christmas tree? And when are we going to decorate and stuff like that? She's branded herself as nurturing. She's yes. branded herself as a good yes. mother. Yeah. She's branded herself as a friend. She's branded herself as all of those as things. The as the main chick. loyal as the main chick. So, She's branded herself as such. But you already know that. You, you go into it knowing this type of girl is a main chick. Exactly, because she, because she's advertised herself as that kind of chick. Because men, like I say, we observe everything from the furthest. And we see these things before, you know, it's it's like what you advertise, what you put out there, that's what we see. So if you put yourself out there that you are a mother and you are nurturing and you are these things, we see these things. So that's what we want, especially around holiday time now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what's bigger than that? What? Um... Your reputation is always hmm. supposed to precede you. So no matter what you're putting on social media, you know, uh, provocative pictures or pictures of money and all this other stuff, no matter what you're doing, if you don't have a reputation of being promiscuous, then you're not going to be treated as such. If you don't have a reputation of being a guy who likes to throw out money to chicks, you could you could be Gucci from head to toe all you want. You could show your Bentley and your Lamborghini and your Ferrari, but if these chicks know they're not getting it, you just showing them. Here it is, but I'm gonna take it back. It's mine. You can't ride in it either. I already know. Yeah, yeah. So so no, nothing's wrong with that. So you're not gonna get a reputation as a um. I don't even know the word, but a guy, a, a trick, I guess. I mean, a guy that. <laughs> a trick, yeah, a trick. Exactly. You're not going to get that reputation. A trick. Yeah, so I mean, your reputation is always supposed to precede you, no matter what you really put out there. Well, let's go to the lines and see what they have to say on line two. Welcome to The Good Life. We are here on Relationship Tuesday talking about branding. How do you um, brand yourself? How are y'all doing today? Good morning. Good. How, how are you? Uh, oh, I'm good. This is a great topic because we were just talking about this in a barbershop this week. There we go. Great topic. Um, I was listening to you guys, and I'm, I'm listening to your male host, and he said something that actually struck something with me because it's true. And I, I think you were saying you tell your main chick to be their woman but have the side chick type of personality, mm-hmm. and that, that, that right there is key for me. Yeah, that's a hustle. You know, <laughs> that, that is number one. I have a wonderful woman in my life. Yeah. Now, I'm not the best person in the world. I also have someone I've been dealing with for a while. But I think the problem these days, even with the branding over to the side chick, even when we're talking in the barbershop, the number one problem is people people not playing their role. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's a role that needs to be played like myself. The person, the side woman in my life, I don't know nothing about a family, don't know her kids, don't know none of that. Don't want no holidays, we don't talk. But, I mean, we just there for one reason and one reason only. That's it. Yeah. You know, but I think people these days go too far with the too much pillow talk. You know where I live. You know my phone number. You know where my old lady works. <laughs> uh-uh. 
uh-uh. You know, so I think that's the biggest problem these days with the whole side chick era that's going on right now. I'm going to let the guys respond to that. Look, that's why I said, that's why I said main chick need to have side chick mentality. Like, you need to go, the main chick need to study the side chick at all times because there's a reason that the side chick is powerful. Of course, she doesn't have to put up with the things that so the you main know chick what? does, but. Look, he, he's anonymous on the radio, so it's cool. I'm going to ask you this question. Yeah. Is there something that your main chick could do that would eliminate your side chick? Yes. Um, I no. I knew it was no. No, no it's not. Because no. <laughs> that don't have nothing. To, they don't have nothing to do with each other. Because the side chick, I, I want. I don't want to speak for my man, but I'm gonna speak for him. <laughs> he, the side chick, you don't have the same responsibilities with her as you do with your main chick. The side chick is there for fun. Let me take. Let me open the uh, the play the play draw. Take out when I feel like it. Put her right back in. Put her done. right back in when I'm done. And she Man, happy with it. I would dap you off if I can right hey, now. Hey, bro. We, 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 we phone dapping. Yeah, so I already if, know. If the main chick was more fun. <laughs> no, that's still not. Okay, I'm just asking. No, it's, I'm it's, just asking. No. I, I have an answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think the answer to it, you know, and let me make sure you pose this. You said, what is there something that a warm, the main chick can do? Um, so that that could eliminate the side chick. No, I and I'm not saying that she eliminates it that would make him not want her anymore. Yeah, I, I, I agree with Henry in the sense that the answer is no. <laughs> and, I, and I definitely agree that there's nothing that the side chick or the main chick could do to have them switch roles or, no. or oh, no, anything like that. I think it starts with the man, yep. you know, and if you are a guy that that is what you feel as though you need to Branding. feel fulfilled, um, to feel um, appreciated, um, to feel as though there's not some aspect of of something missing in your life from intimacy to emotional connection to uh, conversation. I think I think it starts with the guy. And I think that uh, if a gentleman pr- uh, approaches most of his relationships that way, I think for the for a very long time he will continue to feel a void in within himself because it, it's can, with the man, it's can, not with the woman. I can woman. break it down very easy. And I just don't promote that. I can explain it like a six year old. Go ahead. If a man starts with four women and he likes to go out to eat with one and he likes to go to the movies with the other and he likes to go to the ballet with the other and he likes to sleep with the other one, what happens is is the woman that knows how to cook automatically she takes on the role that oh we can. Go to the movies, too. Boom. You get rid of one. Now you got three. Now the woman that knows how to cook and goes to the movies, oh, she likes the ballet all of a sudden. Boom. I got rid of two. Now the woman that you do all two, three of these things with, now the other woman, and she's great in bed, now you got a main chick. But see, when the main chick say she don't want to cook no more, she don't want to go to the movies, and she don't want to go to ballet, the side chicks come back. So that's explained like so a basically, six-year-old. So basically, there's a void that's being filled. Yes, that's okay. all it is. That's the mature way of looking at it. Okay. Well, we, <laughs> the immature is, like no matter mature. what she do, I got my toy. <laughs> no matter what, she could cook, clean, all that stuff, it don't matter. It I need my toy. It depends on personal preference. Most dudes have problems. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what it is. I mean, it's not, there's no explanation. It's, it's real talk. Well, look, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, this is real talk for me, and, and, and me and Henry usually agree on a lot, but I have to disagree on this. <laughs> I'm a little older than Henry, been through a little bit more, but I'm like, as long as my needs get met, they can get met by one woman or five. As long as my needs get met, and, and you know what? I prefer they get met by one. Okay. Well, let's go to line three and see what Mark has to say. Mark, welcome to, to The Good Life. We are here on Relationship Tuesday. We're discussing branding. Thank you. How you doing? Good morning. How are you? You know, um, I, I'm noticing, you know, through the time, you know, through the uh, ages, you know, we basically been de- desensitized, you know, because this should even be a conversation, even though it's occurring, you know, because uh, what has happened to biblical principle? Now I know you guys coming from a secular standpoint, because you know we have secular versus biblical, and the bottom line is equally yoke. You know, all this, that, and or this, and all that, that, that. You know, we forgot what our uh, ancestors have taught us since we've been here in America. We've been basically desensitized. Well, Mark, and I'm actually agreeing with you because I believe in, you know, being equally yoked. But my question to you is when someone wants something but they're branding themselves as something else, that's when you're getting, getting a situation that they're not equally yoked. Well, see, ma'am, you know, it's, it's still going back to the biblical principle. Okay. That, that individual was lost. Right. You see, this is why we have the crime that we have that's taking place, and 
not realizing that she or he are committing a crime, which is sin, because sin ain't nothing but crime. You know, they just took crime and put it in front of sin when they are sinning. You know, we can go after the drug dealer. We can go after the guy that did all the shooting and all that because it's obvious what he's doing. But, what are, let's, let's, but let's attack the root of the problem because if one cheat on the Holy Father, he's going to cheat on you and me. Look, thank you and have a great one. Absolutely. I like Mark. On right, point. Mark. On point. Well, made his point. Yeah, yeah on point. point. And he slammed the mic down. <laughs> Drops the mic. We're going to go to line two. We have Lady G on line two. Welcome to The Good Life. We're here on Relationship Tuesday discussing branding. Lady G? Hello. Good morning. How are you? Hello. Yes, yes. ma'am. Welcome to The Good Life. Hi. How are you doing? Wonderful. How are you? A oh, real interesting conversation. Very interesting. But just wanted to say, um, the young lady that just said, um, it's not about the woman, it's about the man. Mm -hmm. um, and I agree with that. But the fact that I deserve someone that's going to respect me, and when that side chick is being visited, you're not respecting me. Right. You stood in front of the altar, and there were vows that were said. I listened. You didn't. Right. <laughs> there was no option of, oh, and side chick. Or you in with this too? <laughs> right. No, no. It is something that has to be worked on from both sides. Yes. Every now and then, those things do get forgotten. That what happened when we used to? Well, let's talk about that. When there's no communication, you're going to be up to side tip number twenty-five. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And the gentleman was just saying, right. It's commitment. Remember what you said. And it, it's work. It's not easy. But it's both ways, man. Because none of us are still free. None of us don't make mistakes. But are we willing to work together to clear this up? Absolutely. And to have a relationship that we're proud of and know that we respect each other. Absolutely. I, I just can't. It's. I don't care if I'm number one on the list. Knowing there's a list is one too many. Absolutely. I am with you, Lady G. I, I, I am will say by myself because my father raised me to say. Brandon. But you, but you know what, Lady G? someone that's going to respect you. You deserve someone that's going to open the door for you. You deserve someone that's going to pull that chair out for you and do it whether they're happy. But what about what the man deserves on the other side? Uh -huh. Lady so, G, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to absolutely agree with you. And women could literally change the world. If every woman on this earth thought the way that you, what you just described, we would change the earth. We would change the world. Yeah, we would. But unfortunately, we would. If if no woman Men would just go somewhere else, why are they doing finish, it now? Let me finish my thought. Well, if no if woman no would volunteer woman, to be a no side chick. If no woman agreed to yeah. be a side chick, if That's no true. woman opened their legs to a man that wasn't theirs, we wouldn't have this. But the problem is that we have women who agree supply to this. And demand, you have baby. women, <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm sorry, and I'm gonna put it on the woman because just like you said, That's true. men do what they men are gonna do whatever they want. Yeah. Men do what as a women woman, allow us to do. When, thank you, Uche. Yeah. Women, men do what women allow them to do. So if we as women created a community where it wasn't okay and we stopped allowing it, we stopped being the side chick, we stopped only taking the calls from 5 to 7 in the but weekend they trips. Be that link. The whole They'd world be that would one. be... Exactly. It would be that the, one that wouldn't be strong problem. and she would break that's up the, the link. Problem, there, there, there are always too the many one. weak links. That is the problem, that they are too many weak links. Thank you, yeah. Uche. There are too many weak links in the in, yeah. in the in the in the female culture. We do not know our worth, and we do not stand up for ourselves and everyone else. That's the good life. We're gonna take a quick break, and when we get back, we're gonna go to the calls as well. We have Miss Carol when we come back from the break. This is the good life. Relationship Tuesday. We'll be right back. Showtime in the afternoon with John Slade is moving to 3 to 4 p.m. weekdays, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Continuing the message with your issues, your news, and your views. Still here on your station, WBOK 1230 AM. Remember, showtime in the afternoon with John Slade is moving to 3 to 4 p.m. weekdays, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Continuing the message on WBOK 1230 AM. Real Talk for real times you're on the move and so is your bank 
Liberty Bank now offers you the power to manage your money from the palm of your hand with mobile banking with Liberty Bank. Whether you need to check balances, transfer money, or view transactions, mobile banking at Liberty Bank allows convenient and secure access to your money. Enroll today at www.LibertyBank.net and download our mobile app. You can mobile bank at Liberty Bank to keep the power in your hands. Liberty Bank, there's freedom here. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Are you looking for a better way to get fit? Bored with the same old routines? Looking for results or a way to instill discipline in the kids? Tiger Rock Martial Arts is the answer with Taekwondo, kickboxing, and self-defense classes. Tiger Rock diversifies your training in ways that allows individuals of all ages and fitness levels to feel like a champion. Join Tiger Rock today, TigerRockNola.com or 504-455-9694. That's 504-455-9694. With a three-class starter pack, starting for only $38, which includes your training uniform. Learn, grow, and succeed with Tiger Rock's three convenient locations, Old Metairie, West Bank, and Clearview. There's no better time to start gaining strength, skills, and protection for life than now. 504-455-9694. 504-455-9694. See you on the mat. Hello? I need help. My hair is a mess and my man texts me telling me to be ready for eight. He has a surprise. What am I going to do? My stylist takes forever. I got you. Call Ringlet Salon. I just left there. Where? Ringlet Salon. They took me within minutes and had me in and out in no time. Very professional and I scheduled online at ringlets.com. For real? Girl, for real. Does Ringlet Salon hook up your roots? Looks like I got a perm and you know I'm anti-chemicals. Ringlet Salon has my hair soft and bouncy. I'm getting the Brazilian blowout express next week it eliminates frizz for six weeks six weeks okay i'm all about ringlet salon where are they located ringlets has two locations one at 4712 paris avenue and one in the hilton hotel on the river that location validates parking for four hours and is open on sunday perfect for a working woman like me that's all i needed to know i'm gonna be fresh for my man you will if you schedule your appointment at ringlets.com that's r-i-n-g-l-e-t-t-s dot Bye. Go and make my appointment with Ringlet Salon now. Hi, I'm Susan Henry, General Manager at WBOK 1230 AM. Thanksgiving and Christmas are difficult times for so many of our neighbors. To increase awareness of hunger and foster widespread community support, we are teaming up with Second Harvest Food Bank for their holiday meal drive. You can help this effort by donating non-perishable food items. Donations can be bought to WBOK at 1639 Gentilly Boulevard between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Thank you in advance for your support of WBOK, Second Harvest, and the fight against hunger in South Louisiana. You are now listening to the station that's keeping it real, WBOK 1230 AM, where it's real talk for real times. Welcome to the good life. Oh. Welcome to the good life. The wait is over. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Relationship Tuesday, and we are discussing personal branding. If you would like to brand yourself with The Good Life, give me a call at 504-400-7127. We are looking for new theme music, so I am calling out to all my new New Orleans musicians. DJ uh, Ram. DJs. Yes, I love DJ Ram. So give me a call, 504-400-7127. If you are interested in creating some theme music for The Good Life, obviously your music will be played every morning from Monday Monday through Friday and obviously we'll put your name in the music so we'll give you a shout out every morning and we'll um, recognize on you else, on, on the on show and on everything else and when I walk out there on Ellen let's be let's be clear your music will be played so I'm claiming it you claim it let's do this together let's live the good life so give me a call 504-400-7127 or email me at Eileen at TGLRadioShow.com Eileen at TGLRadioShow.com because that 
is the good life. Now we are discussing personal branding today. How do you teach people how to brand you? How do you teach people through branding yourself how to treat you in relationships? Well, you know what you want to project. You know what you want to attract. You mirror the behavior you expect. You exhibit behavior deserving of the treatment you want. You do not exhibit behaviors contrary to what you purport to be. Did y'all hear that? You try new things and learn to be uncomfortable. You brand an authentic image. We're going to go to Miss Carol on the lines because she's been waiting through the break. Miss Carol, welcome to The Good Life. We're discussing personal branding. How you doing? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I just wanted to say, I completely, uh, Eileen, I completely agree with what, you're, what you were saying. I believe um, the whole side chick thing, it comes from women who have no self-confidence because if you had that self-confidence, there's no way that you would allow yourself yes. or allow men to treat you as anything less than what you should be. Thank you, Carol. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I also believe that with side chicks comes disease and babies. You know, all these Thank all you. these babies that you have all over who don't know who their daddy is or, you know, mom, these mothers with so many different dads. You know, that, that only comes from one thing. Is I definitely believe, like the Bible says, you're, not, you're only supposed to, you're supposed to sleep with someone when you're married to them. If we followed what the Bible says, a lot of the issues that we have would go away. But the Bible said you could marry uh, more than one woman also. King Solomon had how many wives? That's okay, so, so even if you want to go with that, Mary, that was, they were still his wives. I'm, uh, look, I'm pushing for that. So I'm pushing. Thank you, Carol. They were still his wives. They weren't his side chicks. I, and I'm in agreement. And we will reiterate how women can literally change the world if we made the decision that we weren't going to put up with it anymore. Thank you, yes. Ms. Carol, for that. No, I, I mean, because if you think about when I say as the world, the older the world gets, the more and more we veer away from God or even our values. When you think, what, 50 years, 60 years ago, you wouldn't, they, I mean, you might have had some of these issues, but they weren't as drastic as they you are now. Prevalent. Absolutely you know, not. You, you didn't have side chicks all over. Um, because women on. actually, I feel women took more pride. It was the women who uh, men used to fight to get the woman. You, men used to do, to, you we know, still do, do that. all these things. You still, not really. We, we, we still do that. How so? We still do it when we're put up to, to for a fight to be made. Well, yeah, exactly. The, so if a woman presents herself that, like, if you yes, want me, fight for me. We're going to fight. The require that they, they, that they be fought for, um, you'll find mm -hmm. the right man who will fight for you. Exactly. And that's, that's the main thing It's finding the right man who will fight no, for you. No, it's presenting yourself as the woman worth fighting for. But Carol, that's the do, thing. You, do you hear what he's saying? He's saying it's up to the woman to present herself as such. It's up oh, to the I woman to not agree. accept. I completely agree. Except I completely the okie agree Because there's too many women who, you know, I look at a lot of women, it's like, you don't have to go outside with all your breasts hanging out. You don't have to go outside with your butt hanging out. Leave something to that man. Why we do don't you, take them serious, why though, Miss Carol. Why do your cheeks hang out your shorts? Miss Carol, Miss Carol, Miss Carol, Carol, those chicks have branded themselves as a side chick. We do not yeah. take those chicks serious. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but. We are only as strong as our weakest link. And those are y'all's weak links as women. There you go. Because guess what? All y'all can stand together and united. And guess what? When everybody else goes to sleep and y'all finish y'all's meeting, she going, she, I'm about to call my side dude right now. You see? And it messes and it up the, for it everybody. Messes, it messes up the total link and everything. And I just got to <clears> say, for you women out there who are like that, you should feel ashamed of yourself. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Right. no, you no. You're saying some real <laughs> stuff. You're saying real stuff. Exactly. If you want something better for us as as women in general, if you want something no, no, better for no, no, yourself, no, 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 let's get let's get to the root of the real problem. Go ahead. That she shouldn't feel sorry for saying nothing like that. She, you and there should be more women let saying them that know. to let them know. But until there is, then guess what? Guess what? Men will continue to do: take advantage. Yeah. So women, that's what we're gonna do, Taifa. We are starting a movement. Women, <laughs> come on now, seriously, this is a movement. Well, that's what the good life is I all about. This I don't hear any other women joining your movement, though. This is about. the problem. More, okay, I, I, the, only, the only problem with saying more, saying how you feel, is that you don't know what the other person, you know, nowadays everybody wants to fight me. I'm not a fighter. I talk. You know, I, I'll talk to you. I'm not one to get up and start fighting. I'll fight if I have to, but I don't want to fight. People, people fight when they, they get, get intimidated, Miss Carol. You something they don't like. If you're going to fight me because you're a side chick, really? <laughs> That's your insecurity talking, cause it. I, I'm just look. I I'm allergic to negative people. 
Yeah. I don't even deal. <laughs> I, I, I think the more people continue to educate themselves, the more they continue to uplift themselves, I think that impacts their self-esteem and their self-confidence. And then I think that should be more of a central focus of a, a movement if there is to be one. Um, you know, it's hard for me to, you know, agree right now, okay, we as women uh, are going to take this on as a movement simply because... To respect ourselves? Shouldn't we do that anyway? Well, I, I believe that I'm a little bit more realistic, that I can't control what another woman does. Um, I can't control what another man does. Guess it's what? Not there are within, commercial advertisers all over the world that control exactly what we do. And it's so good. if it's cool to be... To have self-esteem, if it's cool to have a positive self-image, if it's cool to only date one man, if it's cool to to not be a side piece. more than one woman. If, if, it, <laughs> if, I, if, if, if that becomes the norm, if that becomes what your music uh, people are talking about in their rap songs, if that becomes what you see on TV every day, if that's on what's in the movies, if romance is number one and having a, 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 a monogamy is lifted up, then yes, it's cool. Then yes, everybody will want to start to do it. Just like they exactly. like, they have their pants hanging down. Just like they want to have the new Gucci shoes or the new Gucci. This is because it's cool. We need women to make could monogamy really control all cool. Of it. And women, women can be like, look, exactly. Look, you can get it, but you got to pull your pants up. And, and guess what? Dudes will be walking around They'll with pull belt, their pants tight, up. tight. The <laughs> army. The media has so much to do with what yeah. these people, what what young people, or not even just young people, people in general young are black thinking people. is okay. Let's keep this because real. If the media, if the media didn't it didn't put out put it out there like it was acceptable to be a side to. It's acceptable to 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 do all this stupid ignorant stuff that they're doing. Then they wouldn't do it because you have these you have people out there who have no mind for themselves, or they use they choose not to to use their mind. They're going to use whatever else, somebody else. Them you gotta okay. use what you if got you sometimes. Them, the I army is too big. You have a whole lot no, of money, but you, yes, you wear your pants under your behind. Well, that must be okay. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Carol. I absolutely appreciate your call, and I hope you continue to call every day of the week. And we are going to yeah, create and a movie. It, we are. From a man's point Carol of view, and I appreciate it. We got this. You to also. Hi, huh? She we got this. And look, I got people, uh, uh, Gabby's texting me. We are creating this movement. She, Ladies, she was on who point. runs the world? No, she was on She's on point. She, All right, we're, we have to go to the lines before we end today. Thank you, Miss Carol, so much for your call. All right. We're going to go to Paul on line, too. Paul, welcome to The Good Life. We are here on Relationship Tuesday discussing branding. Yes, good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Great. Uh, I, I just wanted to, to say that uh, uh, the gentleman there is uh, referencing himself as, as, as a man, so I'm, I'm a man. I'm going to say it from a man's point of view. Uh, and you're talking about branding. Well, this gentleman, who I, I don't know his name, but um, he's branding himself as a hypocrite and a liar. You know, you, you're, if you want to have multiple wives, then adapt yourself to a religion that allows you to have a, polygam a polygamous marriage. Men uh, should be uh, honorable. Men should be true to their women. And if if more men would act like men, they would not be confusing their children. Their ch your, your sons are confused by the life you lead. You have to have a standard. If you don't have that standard, then you're, and, you, and you, you say that you live by it, then you're a hypocrite. And if you say to your woman, I love you and I'm dedicated to you, yet you have a side chick, you're a liar. I'm a king from Nigeria, so I'm living mine. That's what I do. So. <laughs> what do you say? Literally. I, I'm literally. Well, I'm, you, you think it's funny. It's not funny. No, it's not you're, funny. It's not you funny. Are putting, you're putting it out there for these young men to continue in the same fashion as you. I'm Nigerian, that's sir. Wrong. So that's what we do in our tradition. Well, then then you're a liar and a hypocrite, and you shouldn't be talking about branding because you you know you don't even obviously don't know what you're talking about. In other words, look at this. How can a person change their brain? You say represent yourself as something that you want, that you want to uh, 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 aspire to. But if you get somebody out there trying to do that and you you keep attacking them, you know, them negatively, oh, you just this, you just that, what chance does that person have to, to, to change themselves? How? How does a person change themselves from a negative to a positive? Well, I'm glad you brought up that question. We're going to go through when, some. When you're, be, when you're being regulated or uh, are serving in a capacity, capacity to be something that you didn't, do not desire to be. Right. I, 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 I do agree. You I understand. You want to be an engineer, and, you know, you're really not there yet. Uh, are you just trying to be white? Are you just trying to be this? Are you just trying to be that? 
we got too much of that in our society. we got too many liars and too many hypocrites. And, and when people start having a standard to live by and, and help each other to achieve their goals, then we will be a better people. Thank you so much for your call, Paul. I absolutely, I agree. He has some valid points. Thank you so much, Paul. We are about to wrap I, up the show today. I, I, and make sure you give... Make, real and truth. Thank you so much. And make sure you give us a call on a regular basis on Relationship Tuesday. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. So exactly how... You, you want to respond? I'm going to... For what? Our last point. Okay. Exactly how do you brand yourself? And that's exactly what Paul was discussing. We were talking about brand and authentic image. Be who you are. There's nothing wrong with working towards characteristics you want to have and branding yourself as such. However, it's never a good idea to brand yourself as something you are not and have no intention of ever being. So think about what you want to be, just like when Taifa was talking about earlier, when businesses, before they present themselves. What do you want? What are you looking for? Game recognizes game and brand recognizes brand. So, ladies, we can do it together. I'm putting out that we're going to start moving on the good life. We're going to look at our self-image. We are going to um, present ourselves as ladies and because that's what we want. We want a man. We want a gentleman. I know that's what I want. And if we, if we demand self-respect, we're going to get it. And Uche said what? A man is only going to allow you to do? What you allow us to do. So stop allowing them to do it. You want something different? Let's do something different. As women, we can come together. And if you're the weakest link, recognize it and stop being the weak link. That's and how the, that's, that's what makes them the strong link is the side chick. They know that they're the weak link in amongst strong women, but they're a strong side chick. <laughs> if you're the weak link, do a little self-reflection, see why you're accepting that, and change your behavior. And that's the good life. This is... I can't even get it out this morning. <laughs> Open your mind, live differently.